just show you, we just have 15 minutes. I want to show, um, this is sort of what's ahead for UDL. And so we just wanted to show a few things that are um, out for the uh, iPad, uh, the portable media, mobile media. Um, because they have, of course, enormous uh, potential um, you know, with a touch and everything that's so strong. So that there's some gorgeous stuff, as you, I think everybody knows. But I just want to show a couple of things that we've been playing with. So the first is not relevant to you much, but this is my favorite for fun. I'm going to turn it on. Uh, it'll take a second to turn it on. and. Uh, uh, and then we want to show an app that's just out. In fact, we don't think it's officially out, but is just this gorgeous UDL app made for UDL and really is uh, quite amazing. So uh, we don't have the little gizmo that attaches the uh, iPad to the projector, so we're doing it on this. Does anyone have, has anyone got one with them? A little? Oh, someone's got one. Do you think it's, is it worth us trying it? Is it really uh, easy? I've got an iPad 1. Oh, you got a no, no good. Okay. <laughs> Did you see the look on his face when he said, "Do you have an iPad One?" <laughs> yeah. That's all right. I'll show it this way. Yeah, that's what I, I've heard that it's kind of iffy. I do have an no, no. I just want to show it. Don't, but thank you. I do have an Android. Uh, I hear. I barely know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see, I just want to get this louder. People are, uh, okay. We're getting more and more people if we wait. All right, so uh, just uh, if you give me a few minutes here, I want to just show you this is actually not meant to be for you. Um, and uh, it's so, so gorgeous that it changes the way that you can do. Uh, teaching about the brain, and it's a free app, which is unbelievable too. Uh, so watch this. So here's the brain, and I can just you know grab it and turn it around. You know, just do things that you couldn't possibly do with a book or anything, and see it in ways that are just like, oh my God. But this is uh, just the beginning, because then I can say, well, I want to know something more about it. For example, that I want to know. I want to do uh, specific, well, I can do lobes. So uh, here's all the lobes. But let's say I want to know what the occipital lobe is. And I can just see the occipital lobe. But it's beautiful to see it. You can see how it goes underneath and everything. It's just the kind of thing that as an you know, anatomy student, you just really like could never figure this out in 3D. So it's just gorgeous. But my favorite is that if you want to learn about a specific area you've read about. So th this, n not something um, you all care that much about. Oh, I know, I wanted to do, sorry, I, I do want to do one. We showed the guy who was face blind. And uh, if you go here, that's the fusiform area right here. So you can actually then see exactly where's the area that he had the damage. It's that small area. That's where you recognize faces, right there. So then, and usually, you can't see that. And in a book, you can never figure out where the heck it is. But now you can just kind of look at it. And then you can say, oh, I only want to look at one hemisphere. So you can do a surgery, cut off <laughs> one hemisphere. And uh, you can look at it with the head, see where it is inside the head. Isn't that unbelievable? You can give him a little, you can, and you can make it you know, smaller or bigger. And you can actually do surgery. I forget how you do it, but you can kind of take and remove the skull and uh, anyway, so there's that fusiform area where you see faces. But you can really see how does it fit inside the head. Um, so anyway, it's just such gorgeous, uh, this looks much better here than it does projected and it's really bright and cheerful and so on. Um, okay, uh, so you know, you can see where this world is going. That one is called Brain Tutor. Again, it's a free app. We're trying to show you mostly free things, not everything. But Brain Tutor HD, it's called. And uh, you can get it for your Macs and Windows machines. And you can get it for your iPhone. Um, now, is everybody just going to be download it while I'm talking about the rest of the stuff? 
<laughs> this is the downside. The downside. Um, so it's, uh, you can learn, and it's got some gorgeous tutorials, and anyway, so you can download it for your regular computer, but it's not so cool on your regular computer because you can't, you know, make it bigger and smaller with your fingers and twirl it around. You have to do it with a mouse, and it's nowhere near as cool. Um, for reasons that you'll learn tomorrow, I just wanted to, I still got, I'm okay on time. Um, uh, I wanted to show you uh, the Glee um, uh, app. There's an app for Glee, like there's an app for anything. And, uh, you know, mostly it's uh, marketing, you know, Glee. But, uh, in fact, all of it's marketing Glee. Um, but if you go in to sing, um, is someone saying, yeah, have you done this before? Has anyone done this? Oh, no, I clicked on something I shouldn't have. Oh, maybe it's doing the right thing. Sorry, let me just, I might have messed itself up. Sing. Uh, okay. Notice it's just got these things you could sing, but I wanted to go back to the perfect pitch thing, because this is just a gorgeous parenthesis for my first story. What you can do here is it's a, what do you call it? Um, a, what do you call it when you go to the bar and you sing along? Karaoke. karaoke. It's just karaoke on the web, okay? But right on your phone, you can do karaoke. But here's the great thing. It's a UDL karaoke. Because you just click and you say, I'm going to sing uh, whatever it is. Twinkle, twinkle, little star is sort of the intro, just so you can get the idea. I'm not going to do it for you, because I know it would be too humiliating. But remember, so I don't have good pitch, okay? So. Here's the problem. I wouldn't ordinarily do karaoke because it's too humiliating. But you know what it has built into it? Pitch correction. <laughs> Just like, and you've probably heard about rock stars who aren't such good singers and they have it pitch corrected in the lab. So they have pitch correction right here. So you sing and then you just press the button and it says and say pitch correction and there's your voice except you're perfectly on pitch and Ruth would never know. Isn't that fabulous? <laughs> it's fabulous. So it's a good, uh, a good UDL app. Um, everybody can sing. Uh, what's great is you still have to sing well, you know, with expression and all of that. It's just the pitch, a low level thing, is, can be taken care of. Um, and now the real uh, thing we wanted to show you, which is, we didn't think it was officially out. Yeah, it is out. It, but it, you can obviously use it. But this is just remarkable. It's from um, uh, the Maryland State Department of Education. And it is a handheld UDL thing that helps you find resources. And the idea is you'd be walking around in your classroom, and you'd be wanting to teach probability. And you'd say, what am I going to do? And then you can, I'll show you what you can do. And you can get the things you want, just like Grace had, you know, had to go out and you had to show you Shodor and all that. So all of that's right, sort of you just go, I want to teach probability, I want to have it these and these features, boom. So it's, you know, definitely going to need more stuff put in it, I would guess, because they can't have looked at everything in the world. But it's uh, amazing. So let's see, what's the, so this will be the most boring part for you, but we can go to the UDL principles. And bl there they are. So in case you forget, and you're about to take a test, um, you know, something uh, about the UDL principles, or you can just say, today we're on representation. You can click there, and whoa, there they are. How cool. And uh, when you go into it, you say options for language, blah, blah, blah. And there they are, down to the um, checkpoints. And you can say, tell me more about that. And it'll say, here's what it is, pre-teach, here's some things to do. And if you really want to go deep, it'll take you right to the UDL Center's guidelines with everything, all the research and everything. So all of that, just right in, a, right in your hands. It's amazing. Um, let's see. I want to get out of that for a second, though, and go back. Um, and what I, have, what I forget is how to use my thing. So how do I go back? Oh, yeah, I want to get out of, uh, yeah. Um, so uh, that's the UDL principle. So you can have every principle at your fingertip. Um, we can go to a class profile. It says, you know, the kind of thing Grace was talking about. How do you, uh, what's going on in your classroom? Start a profile. And you say, what are you interested in? Hmm, I'm interested in science. Oh, maybe I'll do math. 
This is Grace did math. I did math, and what grade, what grade should I put in? Middle school, six to eight? And I'm looking for, am I looking for multimedia presentation, lesson plan simulations, practice, tutorials, collaborative tools, games. Let's try simulations. And, this is cool, I would like to, three principles. I engage my students and they put engagement first. They were at the institute, <laughs> it was amazing. Engage, because you guys, I mean most people don't, you know, aren't putting engagement first, so they're Totally, totally uh, up to date here. To have students create and show me what they know in several ways and teach the content in a new way. So uh, I'll say I want to teach the content in a new way and I would like to present information to my students in a new way, find new approaches for dealing with language and symbols. All of a sudden, oh my God, they're going right into the checkpoints. Help students develop a deeper understanding of the topic. Well, let's try that one. And, and here they are, recommended resources, fraction model, geometric triangle, island, proof of the blah, diagonals, blah, who knows what this stuff is. Uh, I was just, oh, adjustable spinner, do you think that's, I'm, I'm assuming that the, that must be Shoda. you think that's Shoda in there? I bet it will, take you right to the Shoda. Pendulum, oh I've seen that, pendulum, purple math, whoa, I have no idea what that is. Lesson plan and applet, fractions to decimals, adding unlike da da da, so I'll see if the, uh, uh, what was that called? Uh, Adjustable spinner. It doesn't say probability though, so I'm not sure that's the probability one. Simulations, uh, probability, grade level, da -da -da, change the number of sectors, looks a little bit different. But I just wanted to show you what happens is, it then shows the checkpoints. So you're into a resource, here's a thing to teach math with, six to eight probability, and it'll actually say here's the UDL checkpoints that it covers. It's astonishing. And we didn't have anything to do with it, what? Um, yeah, it says view link, so I can go, so I can just go directly to it, say view link, and it'll take me right to the resource. And it's an adjustable spinner, so it's not the one, not the shoulder, it's another one. Illuminations, wait a minute, didn't you just talk? Yeah, you talked about illuminations. Where'd she go? Oh, you did? Oh, I remember you. Um, okay, uh, so, um, yeah, that's a nice one too. Uh, so Grace says that's a nice one too. Uh, how do I go back to, oh I have to go back to UDL links. I think I've shown you almost everything I want to show. Class profile, oh the, you can go by, res oh yeah, this is a good one, by resources. You can filter by just look for things, it's just another way to do it. It's a multiple means of acting on it. You can choose a content area, and you literally say, again, we could go through, you know, his, well, let's do history, social studies this time. And you can say, uh, the grade level, I want it to be nine to 12 this time. And category, I don't even know what that is. Oh yeah, whether I want it to be a tutorial, simulation, lesson plan, multimedia presentation. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, I pressed it. I didn't mean to press it. Um, and uh, anyway, we're off. A million ways, this will take me finally all, all that stuff again. And then um, you can share it. Oh yes, Grace is prompting me. Um, but here is where you can get to the, you know, our stuff on the um, site, which is all the resources with the research and all that. But um, one of the other things that I didn't show is you can share it with your pals. Um, if I go back to resources. Uh, where's that share button? Hmm, home maybe. Nope. You have to, oh, I have to get to one. I have to actually go to one. But if I get to one and I'm there, this is changing circuits. There it is. Thank you. And it'll say share it, go to view it as a link, and that little star is to favorite it. Isn't that amazing? Done with tax dollars, and the great thing is, since you live in Canada, it's not even your tax dollars. <laughs> I mean, you can't, it's like, and it's still free. It's like, um, anyway, so uh, uh, we have never used it. It's brand new, uh, just came out, and so uh, that's the first time I've ever tried it, and it seemed pretty easy to try. So we're done for show and tell for, uh, anyway, there's a million things. Uh, you can see the iPad's gonna be a really rich and uh, fruitful thing, and it has, you know, resonant text-to-speech and all sorts of really good things. Oh, you're showing it on your? Yeah. You got it on an Android. Yeah, it's and beautiful. It works. It goes 
goes to the ladies and shows them, he shows exactly what the uh, principles are linked to this activity. It's unbelievable. It's one of the best apps I've ever seen. Wait, Ruth, are you, what are you on? Are you on an iPhone? So iPhone, uh, Droid, uh, what are you on back there? iPhone 4. Amazing. And you'll be able to get it on, if you drive a Prius, you'll be able to get it on your Prius. <laughs> uh, it's a unbelievable.